I'm not gonna flame you because um, last year I was silver and I hit diamond last uh, two weeks ago. That's crazy, I think. Guys, tier climbs for fifty percent off. That's what you're gonna get with public coaching. I'm starting it next week on Twitch. I know I sound really monotone. It's late here. I'm about to die. So for basically half the price that you would be paying, you're getting the same amount of coaching hours. It's just that we'll be doing it on Twitch to a bit of an audience, mate. Way. So if you want to learn Challenger, Micro, Macro, for whatever role champion you play in the game, I've probably done it for all of them by now. Man, all you have to do is just click on the website link down below and hook up a session. Book it. Whatever time date suits you, I've got your back. And guys, if you did enjoy this video of me coaching Seb, a little highlight video, and yes, Seb went from silver to diamond, I can do the same for you. We've done it all, mate. Not to toot my own horn. If you liked the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, otherwise I'll find you. And uh, yeah, any questions, any comments, leave them in the comment section, obviously. Don't be shit, bro. Oh, she probably still but... fine. Like, the Carmen never needs to die here. It's so troll. But it's whatever. Top crab, nice. Good. And then we got to ask ourselves here, Seb. Unfortunately, we can't see the grubs timer, right? But as soon as like, yeah, a play like it. that happens, you're just thinking, like, what am I actually playing for? What's my next timing? That's all my brain's, like, yeah. screaming Next at objective... Me. Net, next mm -hmm, objective mm -hmm. was at 10.30, so uh, I was like, uh, blue? Okay, no, I recalled him. Yeah, I would just clear. Did you have ult, Steph? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would do that as well, but I don't know why I recalled you. <laughs> Can you tell me, okay, so what are you thinking of, or what are you not thinking of? Like, are you just, oh yeah, I'm just going to re- I just do crab and base here. Because, I, I don't uh, know, like, you've got to tr try to think about it for me, like, why you would. Probably because I always, it's like kind of an intuition, I... Mm -hmm. How do you say it? I created, um, yeah, n not myself, like uh, unintentionally, but when I stay on top too long, bot lane dies. So when I'm on top for a bit yeah, of so time, it's, it's I'll feel like, okay, I need to go to bots because... Okay, so it's like paranoia. You've got PTSD. I think so. And looking at my bot lane, it's just a fight. Seb, no, it's not. <laughs> They're dead anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, so if I recall here, I would be out of base at the same time as Ferris, right? Yeah, but... Oh, look at this. Seb, how do you know you're going to get a kill bot? The yeah, game is about don't. gold. It would also be funny if I recall and run straight top now. I can't remember what I did. Seb, why do we, why do we move to places as junglers? To what get the gold or experience. Yeah, and what gives us this? Uh, objective, skills, or camps. Consistently, what gives us this as junglers? Think about laners. What uh, do they get all the time? Every 30 seconds, minions. there's a new one. Right, minions. And what do we get? We get camps. Camps. Laners go to lane pretty much 99% of the time. At least that. Junglers go to camps. Mm -hmm. The best ones do. Why? Because of that. Mm -hmm. So here, Seb, you're running here when you just fucking cleared your bot. Like you went this, this, and gank mid, right? Then you've done crap. So what are you going to do for a minute? Oh, well, uh, I'm just hoping that bot lane's killable, but you don't have R. You just use your ghost as well. Like, why not make that happen with your ultimate? Why not make that happen when you've got as much gold spent as possible with your ultimate up? That'd be sick. True. True. Right, Seb. I want you to look, okay, at the ultimate here for my boy Vincent when he finishes this play mid, okay? Here we uh, go. Okay. Meow. Beautiful, cool, lovely. In order to attack, get the slow and Oh... Right, so he has no ult, right, after this. Now, the enemy jungler, Rengar, has R, and he's about to kill the bard, okay? Basing here, when Rengar it's has cool. ultimate, and he can get yeah. whatever he wants here... I think he should clear his red, right? Yes, he should clear his bot site. Can you see the similarities when I go to basing yeah. here, right next to two camps, and his ult is yeah. on cooldown? Um, yeah, okay, so note to self, if ult is on cooldown and I have camps to clear, don't base. Yeah, like, even even if Dragon's up in 10 seconds, Seb. Yeah, just... If the enemy jungle has R, you can't do it. You can't do yeah, it. Yeah, If you see. run there, because the worst situation is you run there, and the Shiv is there as well. Are you going to fight see, down an ultimate? Like, what, like, everyone's just trolling. Like, just do your top camps. That's 100% gold. Yeah, yeah. So, you're right. did you see that in a video I made where I commentated, like, over three games I played? Uh, oh yeah, 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 the one hour video. It's actually, yeah, it's actually probably like the, the GOAT video I've made. But basically in that, when I was versing that Rengar, bro, every time he doesn't have ultimate, I'm forcing like an objective, when I have mine, that is. And he will feel, like I said in that, he will probably feel like, what the f I can't contest this. Because I just constantly know that if he does, it's QWE Rengar. If I yeah. got ganked by QWE Warwick, I'd be like, what's he doing? 
Yeah. You know, from like level six onwards. When everyone's level six, Seb, like, yeah, it doesn't make sense, right? Like you've changed your makeup as a champion when you hit level six. And now you're going to be ganking champions who are either level six or about to hit level six. You're making it really hard if you're going to gank those lanes. Whereas you can just make it really easy because you're already fed. Think about it. Like yeah. you want everything, bro. Like you, the difference here is what? Like how, why, why are you fed? Like why would I say that? What determines that? Uh, because I'm two and zero. Right. Okay. Because you got the most gold, yeah? yeah? When you just feel strong like this because you are fed based on gold, <sighs> why would you want to inhibit yourself? Why would you not just fight at max strength the whole time? Maybe even with this as well, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. We go but, from like yeah. we go from like zero percent to a hundred percent. We're trying to get as close to this as possible, right? As yeah, close yeah, to I this see, as I possible. See. With no R, yeah. you're often fifty. No R. With R, it's very close to a hundred percent. I understand. I understand. Really, if I rewatch this back, my intuition would be okay, clear camps because yeah, ult is on cooldown, so it doesn't make sense to base. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Because now I'm just running top and do the camps anyway. Yeah. I'm also going to show so, you yeah. like a little bit more of this. So Vincent bases oh, yeah. and he's giving up Dragon, right? 100%. He's giving up like whatever Rengar wants here, right? He can't contest anything. Whatever Rengar wants, yeah. he's going to get. You basing, like, you might as well stay and just get whatever gold you can. So him basing here to get Ghostblade and two longswords doesn't make sense because you're not using them. You're using them to farm camps. You could have actually already farmed. True, true, true. And you could have got a base off for another Dirk. How good is that? He's cleared his whole bot side. Raptors, Red Krugs. Rengar used ultimate on Bard. No worries. We don't have to worry. Then he just bases after his bot side and runs where? Okay, okay, okay. Then he's running top. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no. You're good. But yeah, um, yeah it makes sense, right? Yeah, it makes sense, yeah. And now, just because he's running out of baits, because it might happen in some games, it might happen where you have to recall. Like, maybe you're 1 HP, and you literally cannot touch your camp. So I've got a recall here. Yeah. All right, Rengar's doing yeah. Dragon. So if Rengar's doing Dragon and I can't contest it, I have to play for something even now or in the near future that might, like, counter what he's doing. So he's getting Dragon. I'm going to try to get or be somewhere before him, which could be where? Bit of a weird question. Already? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right, very good. So we've we've got a base, right? Because we're one HP. It's way too risky to stand yeah. them. I'm one HP. I'm gonna run back here in base. Yeah, after that play. Yeah. Remember, camps will determine. So if we go yeah. to grubs, what's the issue with that? Uh, you leave, uh, you leave up your all your bot side camps. It's so... not even the fact said that Rengar might or might not take these. It's the fact that you could just take them and still get there. It's the fact yeah. that you just gave up 400 gold that you could get the same. You could get 400 gold again in two minutes time uh -huh. you're just kind of like leaving it there right sitting there when you could have done it and done it in a way where you path and this is what we would have got at and i know you'd get it into this yeah okay so instead of even hitting raptors here i told vincent you should just go to krugs and just work your way up yeah what are we going to do here like now we're isolated towards bot lane like if i saw rengar ganking bot here not only would i be kind of happy because i'm getting his raptors krugs and probably void grubs but look at this like what does any of this mean yeah, nothing. He'd now be hitting grubs. So Rengar gets a dragon for free, a kill on MF for free. We don't even care about the kill on MF though, right, Seb? It's jungle camps. He gets dragon. I need to path in a way where I get similar gold for the team. Like this gold up here, where it says blue team's gold and red team's gold, Rengar just got a good amount. Now, I don't know like the actual monetary value of that dragon, but it's obviously a decent amount, right? It gets you closer to winning. So I need to get my team close to winning. How do I do that? Well, I need something maybe as good as this. Yeah. I need to take something away, right? That Rengar yeah. might want himself. So what are Rengar's pluses? Dragon, Grubs, and his camps. And laners, of course. Yeah. So you've got to try and find that to counter it. So Vincent just isolating himself here towards bot. No opportunities, right? Well, Seb, you can tell me, actually. If we did our top camps there, right? And let's just say, when would that have been? Like 10 minutes, maybe? So you base here, right? There's the base. So let's just say you do blue and you do gromp and then your wall spawn. So let's just say it's 9.30, yeah? Okay, Seb. So it's 9.30 right when we start our base. Don't look at the minimap in terms of champions. Just camps, all right? 9.30, Seb. <laughs> 9.30, bro. So if you had cleared gromp and walls and it's 9.30, right? And you see grubs are up. What time did you say? 10.20? Uh, yeah, 10.20. 10.20, right? So you might be like, well, Eves, if I recall at 9.30 and I'm running out of base at 9.40, I've got 40 seconds to go to Grubs. It's kind of awkward in a way, right? I'm going to be like 10 seconds early, but if I do one camp, I'm going to be 10 seconds late. If I do two camps, maybe 20, 30 seconds late. Looks a, bit, a little bit awkward. So lots of people here said like running out of base after they do this, 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 base, would actually run straight back here. But 
Do you need to? Uh, I guess no. It, it does actually kind of depend, but what I'm trying to get at here is like, you will still be so strong that you could probably just go Krugs Raptors and do these whenever you want because you're so strong. I see. You get max gold, right? You get max gold. And guess what, bro? After that, when you've cleared grubs, maybe there's a fight. Maybe you do this and dive top. Maybe there's a fight in here. I don't know. Maybe these camps spawn again. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of cooked, right? When you look at it like that. So mm -hmm. by staying on the map when you don't have ultimate, by resetting your camps, you get them back up probably after that next big play you make with your ultimate off cooldown. So you just get one set here. We need to get two. Yeah, so it's just about looking at this and thinking, hmm, I'm fucking level three Warwick, basically, and everyone's level six. I need to be level six with them. Makes the game easy. The reason why no one talks about cooldowns before level six is because no cooldown is longer than 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's probably like, I mean, maybe you could say even Warwick's W or some shit like that, but let's be real. There is no cooldown that is going to be longer than that time. So mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about that shit. You're just like, right, I'm going to yeah. base and be there for the timer because everyone has Q, W, and E. But at level six, the Karzix who recalls on full HP, my boy Vincent, when his ult's on like an 80, 90 second cooldown, whatever it was, if he goes to Dragon, you still can't fight it. What's the point? You and your game, if you go to Dragon or anywhere on the map to fight Contest, you're doing it without your ultimate now. You, you're like your ultimate, the cooldown is not shorter than the time it takes you to run to that thing. That's the main point. It's still going to have a number on it. So if your ultimate Seb says 30 seconds and you're about to hit recall and run to dragon, that's probably good. 35 yeah. seconds even. 40 seconds might even be good, especially if it's like an important objective. All right, mate, very good. Are you happy with this? I'm happy.